Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the King of the Ring. This is SmackDown Side A for qualifiers round one. Now for the two matches going into the qualifiers round two, it'll be Jey Uso taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. Then it'll be Gunther taking on Logan Paul. So that's the two matches happening for Raw. Now it's time to see what SmackDown will do. Now we have the former NXT champion, former NXT UK champion, and a former WWE champion, and Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov fought so hard to get to where he was around this time last year, because last year he became a two-time WWE champion where he beat Kevin Owens at Hell in a Cell, lost it money in the bank, then got it back at the day one premium live event. Ever since he lost it to Bray Wyatt at SummerSlam, he's been fighting, fighting for a way to get his title back. And if he wins King of the Ring here, he'll definitely get that title shot at SummerSlam. Dragunov, this is the first time we've seen Dragunov. We've seen Dragunov take on the WWE Champion Roman Reigns a, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, at the beginning of the season. That was an epic matchup. Let's see what Dragunov would do here in this tournament. And Dragunov will be taking on the, one of the hottest superstars in this generation. He'll be taking on L.A. Knight, yeah, L.A. Knight, a former, uh, a former, I forgot what what titles he won. He was a champion, the money, the million dollar champion. Yeah, right, hang on a second. Let me do my research real quick. I forgot. Okay, I did my research. He's only been the million dollar champion. That doesn't make any sense. I thought he was the. North American champion at a point. I guess I must have misremembered it. But he's definitely someone that definitely deserves to have a title placed around his race. But if he wins this King of the Ring tournament here tonight, he will definitely get his chance at becoming the WWE champion. But he's up against one of the most toughest people I've ever met in this generation. Let's see how it goes. This should be a very incredible matchup. So, as Jesse, you got your snacks, your popcorn, your drinks. Dragon off Knights one on one. First SmackDown matchup, King of the Ring. And LA Knight is looking to take it to the Mad Dragon here. LA Knight has fought so hard to become WWE champion. He's trying to fight for the United States Championship as well. But now he's here, King of the Ring, and look at this. Burning hammer out the gate. That's how badly LA Knight wants to be the champion. Wants to win this King of the Ring tournament. But there's one problem. LA uh, Dragunov is just too unrelenting. Every time Dragunov fights back. It definitely puts a wear on the body of LA Knight, but that knee right onto the face of Dragunov there definitely put a hurting. Now another knee drop, and no, Dragunov moved out the way that time. And now Dragunov is fighting back here. Multiple strikes, a big combination of them. Now look at this DDT plants LA Knight, and oh, Knight fires back with a swift kick, but Dragunov hits with a knee. These two going back and forth here. I think we're at a count of six right now. And oh, LA Knight drives Ilya Dragunov directly into the steel steps. Count of six here. About to be count of seven. LA Knight going back inside the ring. I think he's trying to win by count out of here. But Dragunov manages to break the count. He's back in. And the referee was kind of distracting L.A. Knight, but L.A. Knight gets back in gear. But Dragunov too quick. Look at this. Russian bottom slams down Knight hard, but Knight fires back with a kick. And now Dragunov back to his feet, manages to avoid that clothesline. 
LA Knight and Dragunov have been doing so far good so far here but who's actually going to be able to win this matchup oh big back suplex there now around this time Dragunov was the world the WWE champion and the last time Dragunov was in the uh, King of the Ring it was two years ago in 2K22 where he got eliminated pretty early on and so did LA Knight LA Knight was not having much success in the King of the Ring tournament as well but now Dragunov flying off the top to the outside with a crossbody this is the type of pain and punishment Dragunov brings inside the ring doing whatever it takes to viciously beat his opponent and looking for another senton bomb and oh Dragunov gets caught with that big boot and oh LA Knight fires back with a knee drop now look at this Knight looking for something big here knee to the head big close line look for a little blunt force trauma but the count matches this fight is still happening on the outside it's a count of six here folks they need to get back inside the ring to avoid a count out situation looks like LA Knight is going to do that dragon dra uh, dragon dragon all oh, back inside the ring and now LA Knight just waiting for his opportunity to strike as he hits a big shot there to the head of Dragunov into the cover. Oh, just before the one count. But LA Knight, he's still on the attack here. Looking for a kick and a BFT hits. BFT, and this could be it for Dragunov. One, two, kick out by Dragunov. Dragunov was not going to lose that easily. And now LA Knight to the top. Rob hits with a knee drop. Oh, vicious knee drop into the cover once more. Almost putting away Ilya Dragunov. LA Knight is going to have to do a lot more than that to put away Dragunov. This man had beat Gunther when he was untouchable in NXT UK. And now Knight looking for another burning hammer. Knight tried to go for a stop, but Dragunov moved out the way. And a big uppercut right to the jaw. Dragunov just trying to stay on his feet. Because if he doesn't, he's going to lose this matchup. Hits with a shoulder tackle to the outside. And Dragunov is feeling fired up here. And a suicide dive to LA Knight. And then I don't even remember seeing Dragunov even doing a suicide dive before. But that's what it takes to be the king of the ring. That's what you will have to do. And now back inside the ring, Dragunov is waiting for LA Knight. LA Knight is taking this slow time. Try to go for another suicide dive. But LA Knight snuck back in. And that definitely caused a lot of damage to Dragunov. But Dragunov, oh Jesus. This was a big back suplex there. Even fully falling on his face off the failed suicide dive attempt. Dragunov is still fighting strong here. And now back inside the ring. Dragunov going to get a breather here on the outside. Before he gets back in. LA Knight. I don't think he was prepared for this type of offense that Dragunov would deliver. But he's still fighting here. Big kick to the Got in the bass right to the back. Now big stomp. LA Knight look at the climb to the top rope once more. Another big dive could do it. Knee drop off the top into the cover. This could be it, folks. One, two, no, another kick out by Dragonoff. Dragonoff is still staying strong here. But how much longer will he be able to stay strong? I mean, LA Knight is definitely bringing it to him. But Ilya Dragunov is definitely showing why he's a forward champion. He hits with the Torpedo Moscow. Torpedo Moscow flying headbutts into the cover. Two, three, no. How the hell did LA 
night kick out of that, but another senton attack from Ilya Dragunov. LA Knight just took a brutal headbutt to the face, and now he goes for a possum pin here. One, two, no! Dragunov manages to kick out, and look at that, that foot Stop right to the face of Dragonov and Dragonov is now bleeding everywhere. A little cut on his head, but that can definitely get multiplied during this matchup. Knight tried to go for a knee drop there. And oh, face first off the apron. As I said, making the uh, cut a big bigger when you focus it on the head. Now on the outside. Once more, these two love meeting out on the outside. I mean, all the pain and punishment definitely gets doubled. Since there's not a lot of uh, protection out there. And now, LA Knight looking for a submission hold here. A, a submission hold. I don't know why. He's trying to, like, wear him down, but... Dragunov manages to escape the camel clutch. Now, Dragunov sending LA Knight back inside the ring. This has been a crazy matchup here. Oh, trying to go for something there, but LA Knight counters into the BFT once more. A second BFT, and this could be it for Dragunov, and it is not. I was just about to say, and it was, and it is, but LA Knight still doesn't get the job done there. Dragunov with a big kick out, and now sweeping the leg. Wait, hang on a second, folks. Ace Bomb! Right to the jaw of L.A. Knight. And he goes for the cover. One, two, three. And Ilya Dragunov advances to qualifiers. Round two. Ilya Dragunov with blood over his eyes and face manages to advance to the next round. With Ilya Dragunov moving over to the second round qualifiers, it's time to see who will be his opponent. And here we have the former WWE Champion Cody Rhodes taking on the legendary, the Viper, Randy Orton. These two have been in each other's careers for so long. But if you want to get at that title shot at SummerSlam. These two are going to have to face off against each other. And Cody Rhodes, I remember when he first became a champion in the series in 2K22 where he beat Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship at Money in the Bank. And then he finally got, he finally did the dream. He made his father proud. And he defended that title all the way up to Night of Champions when he lost it to Kevin Owens, his former best friend, when he cashed it in on him. And then he was never able to get the title back. He had a chance. Last season in 2K23 at WrestleMania Backlash, but he didn't get the job done. So he went to Money in the Bank. He didn't get the briefcase Shinsuke Nakamura did. Went to King of the Ring and failed in the second round qualifiers. And now he's going up against Randy Orton. A, a multi-time world champion. Pretty sure this man is a Grand Slam champion as well. Hang on a second. Let me do my research. Yep, he's a Grand Slam champion. I don't know why I didn't think he won the Intercontinental Champion. But I was thinking about Sheamus. But two-time Royal Rumble winner. A Money in the Bank winner. Randy Orton has done so much in his legendary career. Let's see if he can add King of the Ring to it. But he's going up against 
a friend of his going against somebody who he brought up with him from legacies and speaking of legacies these two was on a team together called legacy and now it all comes down to this who is going to be king of the ring I mean, who will be advancing in the King of the Ring? Will it be Cody Rhodes or will it be Randy Orton? Alright, this match will determine who will face Ilya Dragunov in qualifiers round two. Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes. Let's get to it, folks. This is, We're looking at probably the best version of each superstar here. Cody Rhodes at the top of his game right now manages to hit a big counter there but Randy Orton claps back and a big punch right to the dome but Cody Rhodes still fighting here hits with a big bulldog now Cody disaster kick catches Randy Orton right on the jaw try to go for another kick there but Randy turns it into a dragon screw but Cody fights back these two going back and forth here these two have been friends for so long, of course, they just about know each other's move sets. And now Cody meets Randy Orton on the outside. Randy goes to strike first, lifts him up, and oh, slams Cody's back directly onto the apron. And now Cody is now playing defense here. Randy Orton taking control just for a second, though, because Cody fights back. Now he's just waiting. Wait, hang on a second. Trying to go for a, a, a vaulting springboard to the outside. I guess he thought Randy Orton was going to be in that position, but he wasn't. What a mistake there by Cody Rhodes. But it looks like Cody's not going to make that mistake again. Goes to go for an Irish rip right here. Trying to go for something there, but Randy Orton manages to escape it. But he gets hit with a side effect and now goes for the cover here. One. And a kick out very quickly. This match, well, this match just started, so of course the quick uh, kickouts are gonna be very quick. And I cannot speak today, but Randy Orton claps back with a European uppercut. Now let's go for a, another uppercut. This time to the back of the head. Randy Orton in those uppercuts, he knows how to use them correctly. Those European uppercuts. Bicep connecting very hard to the chin and jaw area. And now Cody Rose trying to fight back here. Drags Randy, takes him to the corner. Oh, trying to go for something, but Randy hits with an elbow. And now look at this. Randy Orton looking for that vintage DDT. Off the ropes, hits it hard, and there goes blood on the face of Cody Rhodes. Randy Orton is just savoring the moment because he knows what he's going to do. He's setting up RKO, but wait, hang on a second. Cody Rhodes with a counter. Almost got hit with the RKO, and Cody Rhodes is still in the game, driving his knee directly into the chin of Randy Orton. And now Cody, oh, I think he was trying to go for the crossroads there but Randy Orton was able to counter it now these two try to do their best moves but none of them has hit so far but Randy Orton taking advantage of scraping the face of Cody against the ropes oh kick to the stomach another kick and a big short on clothesline goes into the cover goes Randy one two kick out by Cody Randy just can't seem to put away the former WWE champion. But tries to knee directly into the back of the skull. And now Cody is still fighting even with blood in his face. This is the second person to bleed here in SmackDown qualifiers round one. The first one was Dragunov. I mean, he did bleed and then he did win. So could this be the case for Cody Rhodes as well? 
And now Randy Jordan hits with an RKO. I don't think that's going to be the same as Ilya Dragon. All this match is over to kick out by Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is showing the heart and resilience of a champion. I mean, he was the former champion for a pretty long time. And now Randy Orton hits Cody with a back elbow. And now Cody fires back elbow to the midsection of Randy Orton. And now into the ropes. Cody Rhodes is feeling fired up but gets caught with an elbow. Those elbows seem to be doing a lot of work here in this match tonight against these two. Now Cody, uh-oh. Oh! Randy trying to weaken the leg of Cody Rhodes if Cody can't even stand. Cody can't fight. And now look at this. Big German suplex. Straight jacket German suplex delivered to Cody Rhodes. And now Randy stomping it on the hand of Cody. Now Rhodes fighting back. Hang on a second. Look at this. Crossroads to Randy Orton. Cody Rhodes could be advancing. One, two, kick out by Orton. These two hit each other with their best moves. And this match still isn't over. What will it take to put any of these two away? Both of these former champions are proven that's going to take a lot to beat them. But what will be the deciding factor here? Cody got, I mean, Randy got Cody in the corner. Now look at this. I think he wanted to go for the 10 punches that he usually does. But he kind of gave mercy for Cody. I think Randy is kind of not agreeing with that. Tries to fight back. But Cody springboard into a drop kick. That uh, hesitation just about costed Randy Orton. And now Randy and Cody throwing strikes at each other. Back and forth here. Who is going to be the one to falter? Another jaw punch right there. Randy delivers one of his own. Cody telling him to bring it some more. Fights back. Rights and lefts. Big strike there. And another strike by Cody. These two can go on and on here tonight. But hang on a second. They just throwing everything. A big hockey fight right in the middle of the ring. I don't even know who got the advantage here. I think Cody, Randy does. Goes for a second close right there. Randy firing up. Big power slam. Wait, hang on a second. Cody Rhodes with a pause and pin. One, two. Cody Rhodes is advancing. What a match that was. Cody knew if the first crossroads wasn't enough, he had to do something different. A possum pin surprising the hell out of Randy Orton was enough to Cody to advance to face Dragunov in the second round qualifiers. What a match. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the King of the Ring tournament for the qualifiers. Round two, it will be Ilya Dragunov taking on Cody Rhodes. That's an interesting matchup. But now we are into our second half of, of round one qualifiers for SmackDown side A. And this is supposed to be a surprise entrance. Joe Gacy will be taking on a mysterious opponent that the SmackDown GM has brought up for us, Mick Foley. I wonder who he has for SmackDown. And apparently this SmackDown surprise will be added to the permanent roster. So who will Joe Gacy be taking on tonight? I wonder who it is. So who's this surprise superstar? Oh shit! Oh my god! I was not expecting 
the Sandman, the ECW legend to be back in the WWE. But Sandman is here, and he is here to cause chaos. One of ECW's greatest legends of all time has come to the 2K universe. He's got a candlestick and beer in hand. And Joe Gacy is up for something hardcore. And look at this. Busting himself open with his own beer can. The Sandman has arrived here in Universe Mode. Here in the King of the Ring. This should be a sight to see. I mean, Raw already has their surprise entrance of CM Punk, but now SmackDown has Sandman. And then also her Raw has another surprise? What? This is incredible here, folks. But let's get to the action. Sandman has returned to the WWE. And he is taking on Joe Gacy. Imagine, now this is only a normal matchup, but imagine if these two was to duke it out in an ex a hardcore matchup, similar to something that ECW has. That would be interesting. But Sandman, after getting hit with that springboard attack, is back to taking control of the matchup. But look at this. Nothing says hardcore like stopping on the hands of your opponents. I look at this. Joe Gacy just getting his face pounded in. Sandman is not afraid, but look at this. Joe Gacy manages to avoid that clothesline and sends Sandman directly into the turnbuckle spine first. And now Joe Gacy is looking to take out the back here, the midsection area, and now DDT. Plants the Sandman. Now, big drop kick to the back. Sandman has only a little bit of offense trying to build in some more right now. After everything that's happened, taking them down hard. Wrestling takedown, nice. I don't really know a lot about the Sandman and his history. All I know is he's very important. I might have to go and look at his matches. But Joe Gacy just pumps him in the face with a big pump kick. Now he's looking to take the match right there, but a quick kick out there by the Sandman. And now Joe Gacy lining him up, takes him down hard with the Uranagi. A back suplex into a Uranagi. And now Joe Gacy back in control. And now, oh, what a backbreaker that was by Joe Gacy using the momentum of Sandman to deliver a wicked backbreaker. But Sandman is back to taking control of the matchup. Irish Rip, no, Gacy counters. J Joe Gacy is feeling fired up here. Hey, hang on a second. No, this match might be a little too extreme. DDT on the apron. And the crowd goes wild off of that spot. And now Irish Rip, no, counter into the barricade. And the Hermit Hermana by the Sandman. And now action heading back inside the ring. Sandman looking to fly off the top rope. Elbow drop to the spine. Well, big elbow drop there. And now Sandman looking to put this match away here. Looking for that rotating power driver connects. Into the cover. This could be it. One, two, Three, no, Joe Gacy kicks out at the last second. And don't count out Joe Gacy. He was the second person in the... No, he was the second... He was the last person in the King of the Ring tournament. Last, not King of the Ring. Uh, I, I, he was the finalist in the Royal Rumble. That's all I'm going to say. The finalist in the Royal Rumble. He was the, one of the final two competitors in 2K23's Royal Rumble. So don't count Joe Gacy out. And he almost had a chance at beating Roman Reigns this season. But now Joe Gacy looking to put the Sandman away. Lock it in. 
the resolution. But Sandman manages to escape it. Sandman is tough. If you watch his matches back in ECW, you know how tough he is. Now multiple elbows right to the midsection. Now big punch there. Now these two are going to throw hands at each other. Just like we saw in our last match. Throwing rights. Throwing everything behind their strikes. But who will be the first to falter? Counter after counter. Another counter and a knee to the gut. Big double stops. Joe Gacy won that encounter right there. But will he be able to win the match? Shoulder tackle to the midsection of the Sandman. And now Gacy, look at the fly. Elbow drop to the outside. Joe Gacy is not afraid of taking any risk. And now he's looking for the resolution once more. Locking it in deep this time. Look at the tap out. The Sandman. He has to let it go. Well, he has to since he's on the outside. And on the outside, it wouldn't matter. Goes for an Irish trip, but no, Sandman with counters it. Sends Joe Gacy directly into the steel steps. And now Sandman is ticked off here. He's telling Joe Gacy, get back into the ring. And Joe Gacy does slowly after his encounter with the steel steps. Try to go for something there. Wait, goes for the rotating power driver, but no, this time... Joe Gacy used his strength to push off of the Sandman. But the Sandman is still firing back here. Big punch. Turns it around. Oh, what a neck breaker that was. Me going off the back of the cranium. Those are always dangerous. Sandman. Uh-oh. Sandman, look at the fly to the outside. And he connects successfully. It's with a good big bulldog on the outside to Joe Gacy. And now big elbow drop to the spine. Currently back on the outside. But Joe Gacy counters with a jawbreaker. And now looking for a deep resolution once more. On the outside. Trying to wear down the Sandman. But Joe Gacy gets countered. The Sandman manages to escape it as we reach the count of six. And the Sandman gets tossed back in by Gacy. Count of seven here. Joe Gacy needs a big win here. If he wants to advance in the King of the Ring tournament. I think he's looking for it. Getting the build up. Into the upside down. As bring Larry into the cover. One. Two. Three and no. Joe Gacy doesn't do it. The Sandman shows his resiliency with a big kick out right there. Now Joe Gacy looking to talk to the crowd but gets caught with a bull with a bulldog. And now Irish trip from the Sandman. Oh, big takedown there. Landing Gacy directly on the face. And this could be it, folks. One, two, three. And the Sandman advances. I'm pretty sure he got caught off wind with that Bulldog there. Because usually I don't never see an opponent kick out. I usually see an opponent kick out of a drop toe hold. But I guess that bu that Bulldog did a lot of damage to the head of Joe Gacy. in the drop toe hold put in a little bit more. And now the Sandman is advancing. to qualifiers round two but in this next match we will see who's joining him okay ladies and gentlemen this is the final matchup for qualifiers round one smackdown side a will it be the blood king former nxt champion drew mcintyre is looking for bigger Paxers. He is a former World Heavyweight Champion, a former WWE Champion. Now he's looking to become King of the Ring. 
and become WWE Champion once more. Now, last week at NXT Gold Rush, Drew McIntyre lost his NXT Championship to Ricochet. That was a very epic matchup, but Ricochet ended up becoming the winner. And now Drew has no title, but he's looking to become the king here tonight against a former friend, ally, enemy, Bobby Lashley. And Bobby Lashley, the Almighty, is here looking to get to the top once again, prove how dominating he can be. A former WWE Champion, former United States Champion. He wants the big gold once more. But if the Almighty wants to go to SummerSlam, he's going to have to find a way to get past Drew McIntyre here. These two are definitely going to bring in the hard-hitting action. Let's see who's going to face the Sandman in Qualifiers Round 2. Will it be the Blood King or will it be the Almighty? Now we already have three matches confirmed for Qualifiers Round 2. Jey Uso Nakamura. Gunther and Logan Paul. And Dragon Off and Rhodes. Who will be joining the Sad Man? These two are gonna go head to head collision here, but Drew McIntyre takes care of things first. Now Bobby Lasher delivers a swift kick right to the head, and now Bobby is in control now. Now, big elbow right to the chest there. Now, what is this Blood King that Drew McIntyre has come up with? Well, ever since Drew McIntyre basically bloodied the face and body of Sheamus at NXT Battleground, and then he did the same to Solo Sokoa, Drew McIntyre feels like he's best where he busts his opponent open and beats him for the three. But recently, it seems like Ricochet, the current NXT champion, has taken that claim from Drew McIntyre. So now Drew McIntyre is working super hard to get back to where he belongs at the top. And Bobby Lashley just kicks out of that powerbomb right there. And now big close line. No, Bobby Lashley avoids it. But Drew McIntyre back on the offense. Wait, hang on a second. Bobby Lashley, multiple elbows to the gut. And a big close line, almost decapitating Drew McIntyre there. Irish Swift countered by McIntyre. Got Bobby on the apron. And now look at this. Oh, looking for the 10 beats. Of the Baldrin. That's the shades of Seamus. Oh! Former NXT champion, Seamus. I think Seamus is going to be in the King of the Ring tournament as well. And now Bobby Lashley got McIntyre. This isn't good. Oh! Power bomb right on the eighth and is swinging his side right into it as well. As I told you, hard hitting action here between these two titans but who is going to be able to go to SummerSlam? who is going to be able to advance in the king of the ring tournament as bobby lashley delivers a short on clothesline and now count of three as bobby lashley makes his way back inside the ring 
Bobby is just waiting for McIntyre at this point. But McIntyre gets in. Kick to the gut. Hang on the second. McIntyre's in trouble. Oh, I think he tried to go for the uh, Dominator there. But Drew McIntyre counters it. Turns it into an A-Raid Siren. And now Drew McIntyre looking to put this match away. Looking for the big old Claymore. Bobby Lashley tried to fire out of it, but he couldn't. Into the cover. Two, three, and Bobby Lashley kicks out. What a move right there from Drew McIntyre to Claymore. The move he used to put away a lot of his opponents was not enough to put away Bobby Lashley here tonight. Drew McIntyre just hit his essentially his best move against Bobby Lashley, and it wasn't enough to end the match. Now Bobby Lashley trying to fight back, but I don't think he can with Drew McIntyre just smothering this man. Bobby trying to use the ropes to get back to his feet, but Drew McIntyre is stalking him out on the apron. Oak manages to avoid each other. And now back inside the ring. And a big German suplex from Bobby Lashley. Bobby is just flexing his power here. Irish rip into a spear. Bobby Lashley just about turned Drew McIntyre inside out into the cover and a kick out by McIntyre. Both of these men hit their best moves, but it wasn't enough to put the match away. And now Bobby Lashley just coming to the outside to meet Drew McIntyre. Got him up on the shoulders. And slams her face first, and there goes blood on the face of Drew McIntyre. And that is not good for the supposed Blood King, Drew McIntyre. He is the one that's bleeding in this matchup, not Bobby Lashley. Now, I think uh, Drew McIntyre, he still has the rematch for the NXT Championship against Ricochet whenever he wants to cash that in. Maybe at NXT, at the next NXT show. But Drew McIntyre is back to taking control of this matchup. Slamming a knee down hard, down on the mat. And now McIntyre looking for a neck breaker, hits it hard. Drew back in control of things after getting hit with that spear from Bobby Lashley earlier. Now, big body slam there. And now, McIntyre looking to fly off the top. Big leg drop. Just might have done it, but he's not finished stomping on the face. And now, McIntyre looking for a big move here. Future shock. No, Bobby Lashley rolls through. And now, delivers a stop. Try to open that cut up some more. The future shot got countered. And now Bobby Lashley trying to take control of things, but McIntyre is still fighting here. And now look at this. Big suplex. Oh, just tossing him away as he goes for the cover here. One, two, kick out by Lashley. This match still not over yet. Oh, Claymore kiss. Louis Glasgow kiss from Drew McIntyre as he looks for the Claymore once again. Goes for it. No. This time Bobby Lashley moves out the way. Irish Rip into a spear. The spear could do it here. One, two, three. And Bobby Lashley will face the Sandman at qualifiers round two. Drew McIntyre once again fails. But he still has one card up his sleeve. The rematch clause for the NXT Championship. But next time we'll see you, it'll be Raw Side B for qualifiers round one.